Look at this flea jumping through the air. With a lot of effort and some luck, the flea could land on one of its target and the whole itching cycle begins. How can the flea jump like this? And what is the velocity with which a flea should jump so that it reaches the height that it does? And finally, what is the height that humans would reach if they could jump like a flea? Let's try to answer all of those questions in this video. So here we have the flea all ready to jump. And usually fleas, they weigh around 0.5 milligrams and their, their height is two millimeters. On an average, a flea could reach a height of 30 centimeters when they jump. So let's say, let's say that a flea is jumping from the ground. Here is a flea and it jumps and reaches, reaches this height, which we say is usually 30 centimeters. This is, and let me write this in meters. This is 0 0.3 meters. Now, now when the flea jumps, there is, there will be some, some takeoff velocity, right? There will be some takeoff velocity right? we can call this P and at the highest point we can say that there is no velocity but it has reached a height so it has gained some gravitational potential energy all of this initial kinetic energy is changed to gravitational potential energy and we can apply the conservation of energy principle we can try and figure out the takeoff velocity from that we are not considering any form of air resistance so we can write half mv square that is the initial kinetic energy equals to the gravitational potential energy and there is no kinetic energy at the highest point. So this is equal to MGH. The good thing about this is that mass gets cancelled off. So M, we don't have to deal with M. V square is equal to 2GH. So V, this is equal to under root of 2GH. And when we work this out, when we plug in values G and H, G we can take as 10 h is 0.3 so this is really under root of 2 into 10 into 0.3 and this is this is 6 so under root of 6 is approximately 2.5 2.45 2.45 meters per second so these are the takeoff velocities for fleas mostly now this might not seem much but let's try to understand this from the perspective of a flea so a flea is only 2 millimeters tall and it can reach a height of 30 centimeters. How would that look like in human terms? Let's say the height of some human, that's uh, it's two meters. Let's say it is two meters. Now, if a flea being two millimeters can jump a height of 30 centimeters, a human who is two meters tall, what would the height look like for a two meter, two meter tall human who could jump like a flea? So let's try and work that out. If this is uh, we are considering the ratios to be the same. So we are considering the how tall the flea is that is two millimeters. This is divided by 30 centimeters and and a human human height. We are considering this as two meters divided by the height that we want to figure out if a human could jump like a flea. Now these are in different units. This is centimeters. This is millimeters. This is meters. We need to change. Let's keep all of them in meters. This is two into 10 to the power minus three divided by 30 into 10 to the power minus 2 this is equal to 2 divided by h now many things get cancelled off and when we work this out the height this height comes out to be equal to 300 meters so th this really means that if a human could jump like a flea they would be able to reach a height of 300 meters to put it in perspective that means in, the, in a single jump you are able to reach the top of this building from the ground and if we try and understand the velocity with which a human should jump to be able to reach that height, we can again apply conservation of energy principle. We can we can write, let's let's remove this again. We can we can write half mv square that is equal to mgh. So that's really that's really half into mv square equals to mgh. Again, m gets cancelled off, and v is under root of 2gh. But h here is 300 meters. So this is 2 into 10 into 300. So this is 20 into 300 under root of 6,000. And this, this is 77.4 meters per second. So this is just incredibly high. Now the big question is how can a flea jump like that? What does the flea possess? What does the flea have that it can jump? It can make that incredible jumps. So, so it, it comes to a kind of protein, which is called resilin. Let me, let me remove this. Let me remove this all together. It's a kind of protein which is called which is called resilin and this protein makes the muscles very elastic kind of like how a spring would act. So if you have a spring and if you have a ball on top of a spring, when you compress it, when you compress it like this, 
and then when you let it go the ball would reach incredible heights kind of like this the ball lifts off and reaches great height similarly how a flea's legs act when when a flea compresses its legs because of resilin the muscles act like springs they store all of this all of this elastic energy and when the flea takes off when it lifts off it kind of extends like a spring giving the flea some incredible speed so that it can reach a great height and unfortunately we don't have that so we are nowhere close to how a flea could make a jump